Hi everyone, I'm Taylor and welcome to the Tribe Life's 30 Days of Yoga Challenge. Today is day 26 and for today's class I'm going to be introducing a pose that we haven't done before um, and it is a challenging pose. It's a challenging pose. It's got some um, hip openers and also um, some balance thrown in so it's going to be a fun day and whether you've done this pose or not, um, I just challenge you today to tune into your body. Notice the thoughts that pop up when we're, when we're going into this more challenging pose, right? Notice if your thoughts tend to be more self-defeating or um, encouraging and just pay attention to that, right? So the first thing we can do is notice the thoughts that we have when we're faced with a challenge and things like this, either on the mat or off. Um, and then from there we can try to change and reprogram the thoughts to something a little more positive. So today we'll just tune in, notice what comes up, Roll out your mat and we'll begin. All right, so as always, start in the seated position. I feel like I'm always saying that now, as always, but um, as always, we're gonna sit in a seated position today. And remove the flesh from the sits bones. It just helps us with really rooting into the ground, sitting nice and tall, sitting with the heart over the hips and resting the palms either face down or face up, whatever feels good for you today. And then close your eyes. Start to tune into the breath. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. One more time, really filling the lungs here. So inhale through the nose. And exhale out your mouth. So tune in with the body. Just taking a moment to settle in here at the beginning of class. And start by taking a, a body scan and also a mental scan. Noticing where you're holding tension. That kind of thing. Take another inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. And then set your intention for class today. And once you've set your intention, we'll sit here for a few more breaths. Relaxing the space between your eyebrows. Continuing to breathe. And then you can open your eyes and we'll start class. So we're gonna start in a wide-legged seat. And I have a blanket here just to help prop up my hips. Um, you don't need it, but I would recommend it. Um, if you find it difficult to sit tall with a long spine with your legs nice and wide, right? So my hips are particularly tight today, so I'm actually going to roll this up a little bit more, giving myself a little bit more height. There we go. And then as you do this, you might just notice the difference is between a round spine like this or an elevated long spine, right? I'm still removing the flesh from the sits bones. And so just starting to teeter forward first, and maybe this is where you are. Maybe this is like, this is, this is, a, this is big for you, right? So sit here, breathe into this. Otherwise, you can place both hands framing that right foot or right leg as you sit nice and tall through the spine, twisting your heart a little bit over to the right towards that pinky toe, and then start to walk the fingers out. And maybe you grab onto the shin or the foot even, and just looking to fold here for a few breaths. And then rising back up. We'll come to the other side. 
So twisting over to the left, framing that left leg, sitting nice and tall, and then folding down. Again, grabbing onto that left shin or foot, or even thigh, wherever you are. Take one more breath. And rise back up, bringing your legs back together. Coming onto all fours so you can remove that blanket. Coming to all fours with the palms under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Fingers spread nice and wide with a firm base. And just start to wiggle your hips and your shoulders in, in circles clockwise and counterclockwise. Little small circles to start. And maybe moving the hips around a little bit more. back to a neutral spine. So stepping back with that right leg, straightening the leg out, maybe rocking forward a little bit, back and forth. <sighs> Stretching out the calf. And then when you're ready, you can bend that right knee. So lifting the right leg and then bending that right knee. And you can stay here, or you can reach back with that left arm, grabbing onto the inside of that right foot. And so, working on a few things. Working to keep the hips squared. You're pressing your foot into your hand, hand into your foot. This might also open up that left shoulder too. And so balancing, pressing into that right palm, staying lifted. Take one more breath. And then releasing that foot, coming back to neutral spine. And we'll switch sides. So stepping that left foot back, rocking back and forth a little bit. And this is to prep us for dancer pose. So you'll see a lot of similar feelings and um, movements as a full expression. So again, you can stay here or lift that left leg up so it's parallel to the ground. Maybe you bend that left leg and then reaching back with that right arm, grabbing the inside of that left foot. So again, working to square the hips, really opening that right shoulder, breathing. Pushing the foot into the hand, hand into the foot. And then releasing that foot. Big toes touching, knees wide, pressing back to child's pose. And then coming forward, flipping the toes, pushing back to downward facing dog. So walking out the ankles, the calves. Working out the kinks. And then looking forward, walking your feet up in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Stay in here for a few breaths as you drop chin to chest, really feeling some length in your back and your spine and behind your neck. Take in one more breath. And then releasing the arms, bending the knees a little bit, rolling up ragdoll, rising all the way up to Tadasana. Roll the shoulders up and back. 
and then we'll come to dancer. So allowing some enough, enough space in front of you, so you might want to scoot back on your mat, we'll start to shift our weight into our left foot. So really grounding in that left foot, right? So making sure all four corners of that foot are pressing firmly into the ground. Toes are spread nice and wide. And then once the weight is into that left foot, you can bend the right knee, bringing your right ankle closer to your right glute. And then reaching back with that right hand, grabbing onto the inside of that right foot. Okay? And so as we stand here, first just getting used to the whole balance thing, right? So breathing into that, feeling strong in that standing leg, and then also feeling the stretch on that right hip, right thigh. Right? So as we stand here, nice and tall, maybe you stay here, or to take it a little further, you can lift that left arm up to the sky with the palm facing the right side, right? So reaching up. And then as you start to lean forward with the upper body, you can lift that right leg up behind you. So um, making sure that right knee isn't shooting out to the right, we're still keeping the hips squared as we open up the legs here. So as you breathe, continue to go deeper into this pose, right? So pressing your foot, your right foot into your right hand, hand back into the foot as you open up that leg a little bit more, reaching strong through that left hand, keeping the hips squared. Continuing to breathe, feeling grounded in that left leg. We'll take one more full breath. And then rising back up and then releasing that foot and the arm. Shaking it out. And then we'll come to the other side. So now we've done one. We know the things to kind of pay attention to. Uh, so be patient with yourself too, right? My dancer pose is not perfect. I'm still working on it. There's always something to improve on, to work on, to learn. Um, and so I encourage you to keep an open mind here, right? Don't get discouraged if your dancer pose isn't where you want it to be yet. Um, that's why we practice, to keep getting better and stronger at this. And if you fall out, you fall out, right? It's a balanced pose. It's meant to challenge us a little bit there. So if you fall out, get back into it. Um, that's my spiel. So switching sides. Shifting your weight into that right foot this time. Again, making sure you're grounded through that foot, through all four corners of that foot. Maybe spreading your toes nice and wide too. And so we're lifted in that leg. And then you can bend that left knee, grabbing onto that left foot, grabbing onto the inside of that left foot as you stand tall. So again, getting used to balancing on that right leg now, feeling the stretch on that left hip, left thigh, sitting nice and tall, standing nice and tall. And then to take it a little further, you can reach that right arm up to the sky, palm facing the left side this time. And then as you start to lean forward, the upper body is reaching forward and in front of you, and that left knee is lifted up back behind you. So working to square the hips, pressing the foot into the hand, the hand into the foot. Really feeling that stretch on that left hip, left thigh, strong in that standing leg, that right leg, keeping the hips squared as best you can, continuing to breathe, opening up the body, and taking one more breath, and then rising back up, releasing that foot. Shaking the legs out and the arms. And that's Dancer. So coming back up to the top of the mat. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart. Pause for a breath. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, stepping back to plank. Yogi's choice. Take a flow or press back to down dog. <sighs> Take it. 
taking a few breaths. Bending the knees, releasing down to child's pose. So big toes touching, knees nice and wide. Melting the forehead down on the mat. Tuning into the breath. Noticing how your legs feel now as opposed to the beginning of practice. I feel like I have maybe a little bit more space, a little less tension. So just noticing the little things like that. Taking one more breath. And then coming back up. Bringing the legs out in front of you. Taking your time, rolling onto your back, one vertebrae at a time. No rush. And then hugging your knees into your chest. Rocking side to side. Keeping that right knee into your chest, lengthening the left leg down onto the mat. Wiggling that right knee uh, side to side, really opening up that hip, creating some space. Maybe pulling it up by your right shoulder too. And then crossing that knee over your body, bringing it over to the left as you shift your gaze over that right shoulder. Breathing here for a breath or two. Gentle spine twist. And then coming back up to center. Releasing that leg, hugging the left knee into your chest. Again, rocking that knee side to side. Maybe pulling it up by your left shoulder, really opening up that hip. And then dropping that knee across your body over to the right. Gentle spine twist. Gaze is over that left shoulder. And then coming back to center. Coming to happy baby. So hugging your knees in and then bringing them slightly wider than hips, so like shoulders distance. Grabbing, uh, bring your arms inside your feet, inside your legs, grabbing the outsides of your feet. There we go. And then pulling the knees and the legs and the feet in towards you. So really opening up the hips here. Taking one more full breath. And then releasing the feet, Roll, uh, relaxing the legs down to the ground, dropping the feet away from each other. And then relaxing the arms by your side, palms to the sky. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. And for the next minute, allowing yourself to melt into the mat.
Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Reaching your arms up overhead and stretching from your fingertips to the tips of your toes. Taking your time, rolling onto your right side body. Pausing here for a breath or two before making your way up to a nice, comfortable seated position on your mat. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale, reaching up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. I always close practice with a moment of gratitude. So think of one thing you're grateful for and hold it in your heart. Thank you for practicing with me today. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste. Congratulations, my friend. You just finished day 26 of the 30 day challenge. I hope you were patient with yourself today as we introduced a new pose, dancer pose. Um, it is definitely a challenging pose. And like I said, my dancer pose is not perfect and I've been doing this practice for years. Um, but with practice and repetition, you can work to open the hips a little bit more, stabilize yourself in the balance, and um, it can actually be a pretty relaxing, uh, opening, enjoyable pose. So I hope you stick with it. Uh, keep practicing. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. And if you have any friends or family that you think would enjoy this challenge or this class in particular, pass it on. Share the love and um, make sure that you subscribe too. That way you don't miss any new uh, classes or episodes that I'll be posting in the future. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Be kind to yourself and others. Namaste.